The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. In the most effective way of dealing with bitterness, that is to confess it. We will begin discussing it. So what that means is that we are not going to end it today. So to confess is to acknowledge and admit by way of revelation the true state of one's heart. So now to acknowledge and admit. And I said by way of revelation the true state of one's heart. Revelation because that heart has been in that state all the while. But it sometimes it takes God's grace to bring the true state of your heart to you. I mean, to come to terms with the fact that there is something wrong on the inside. Now, I'm saying that it is so many times by revelation because the heart has been in that state for a long time now god is granting that fellow that revelation of, of the true state of his or her heart because the heart has been in that condition for a long time it is a pouring out of facts either to suppress to God or to someone or to the perceived offender with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor. Now confessing in the context of bitterness is what I've put out there. So we are saying that it is a pouring out of facts either to suppress to God or to someone or to the perceived offender with the intention. Now, we all confess. But when you confess with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor, then that is a true confession in the context of bitterness. Now take that again. It is very, very important. We all make confessions. We are not talking about uh, confessing your sins to God or positive confession but the confession in the context of the discussion of bitterness is this one to acknowledge and admit by way of revelation coming from the spirit of god the true state of one's heart it is the pouring out of facts either to suppress to god or someone 
to the perceived offender with the intention of making peace or receiving forgiveness and favor. And I import here at the Gunipa, a bio or Jiri said, Why Yen Bonino and him, send your bear, obey to me, and Yap Bonifefri, and as only Nipan be boom at Nasum Jim. Now are we together? Major said, Mudimati, pa. There are two kinds of confessions here. Yea, Pemu Akano, ye won't bear a good woman, you know. One, the decay. You confess or admit before God the true state of your heart with the intention of making peace or receiving God's forgiveness and favor. And the second uh, part of the confession is you confess to someone or the perceived offender what the state of your heart is or how you feel about an offense with the intention of making peace and reconciliation so the first one we are saying that is a confession to god the second one is a confession to someone or the perceived offender what the state of your heart or one's heart is or how you feel about an offense Offense. This O F E S S E is it's not C. With the intention of making peace and reconciliation. So, so the intention in the confession is very very important. So the so you either confess to God and other times you confess to men. I do not mean reporting an offense. Now, confession is not reporting an offense. Reporting an offense to someone is not confession. Confession is with an intent. Now, for peace and reconciliation. If that is not there, then it is not the true confession in the context of bitterness. But in true confession, there could be an element of confrontation. I mean, to face up to an or deal with. See, usually, the best thing you can do in an embarrassing situation is to confront it head on. I don't know, maybe or not said you see a new one, you know, a so to see For example, me, my wishes we when a superior is or has harassed you sexually. So, we do my mu penny be a CCO or not quite so. And because of the consequences, you don't want to report them. Now, it's not you may confess. You may confess your feeling to God. And you may confess to this fellow how you are feeling. So that would mean to confront him or her is not to confront him or her head on. Now we know can see by laying bare how you feel about their action. So in confession, there could be confrontation. In some instances, when confessing to someone may be difficult to do because of the stigmatization. 
said ye e si e ti awan hwe de ni wo bi e be benti no all the consequences ana ni e be free mu abenti no you simply confess to god o sha no aka se ni e me ka kire urade there are certain things that it is hurting you no me bi wa na e prawo ye pa but talking to god alone and so o ka kire urade nko a will be better to de bi ana ye so you keep it enti na o de hinta wo talk to god na oni e urade nko e de hunko and let go the bitter feel na yi ya o die no e free mu i hope you are remembering yours me jidi say o kai kai wo die no however my interest this evening is to deal with confession one nan so ena nwumre yi be bia mani kire no ene se ye be hwe ye pe mu aka no de di kan no yes you confess or admit before God the true states of your heart with the intention of making peace or receiving God's forgiveness and favor. Na hey no, ni aye ya odi ase wakoma mu ma no. Wo hwie ni nyina de gu nyankopon enim, se na e be ye obe hu wakoma tebe ewo mu no, na wanya ni nsem adom ani boni fefri. As in pouring out the bitterness within. Na hey no, wo hwie ya odi ni nyina e de egu. Na before God. Na wo hwie gu nyankopon enim. Pouring out the bitterness within before the almighty God. Wo nyuna ba ahinta wo mu a aye wo mu ma no, wo hwie ni nyina gu nyankopon enim. We will go to first Samuel chapter 1. Now, this is a story that I want all of us to kind of um, pay attention to. There is this man, or there was this man who had two wives. Penina and Hannah. Bako, your friend Hannah, na your tossum, you know, so the penny. Now, Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Now, Penina, a one mark now, so Hannah, or Nibi. The Bible says, year after year, the man will go to worship in Shiloh. She will go with the two eyes. So, some they say, Afibiano, Yana, or Ne, Yirinumi, and Yabusiano, a quack or some, a Shiloh. But Hannah will always tea. Penina always teased Hannah because she was barren. And so they be Hannah Penina or the Hannah Awa onwe yano e esre no. And this irritated her, Hannah. Now we no bribi emu no. E ya na e how Hannah ye pa? Because the Bible says that her rival kept provoking her in order to irritate irritate her. I trust him. They say bribi emu no na nikurei o yi o yi ne hiya my Hannah kuma. Now, if Hannah was irritated, then the condition is the problem is not what she is hearing. The problem now has become the condition of her heart. As I T T, the question is how how Hannah is here. Now, just say you how no go near mum say say na kuma akujina jina brebi. Now, so there was some kind of bitter feeling in Hannah. And the the idea is be wura Hannah akume. This one was being caused directly. By penina. I don't know why a penina and casa and why yet tia Hannah. Now her husband Elkanah will say, Hannah, why are you weeping? So to the extent that she will weep. Now Nura Elkanah, Bribi Emu no say Hannah, I didn't know who sa. Why don't you eat? I didn't to the extent that she wouldn't even eat. Okay, a yeah, could see say who didn't poor na in ye. So turn with me to verse nine. And the mummy and share if you moon crono air corner. First Samuel chapter one from verse nine. Samuel Homa Idikai in Yimua Idikai noa. Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. Now Eli the priest was sitting on his chair by the door post of the Lord's house. Now we did hear now one num we silo no. Hannah sorry. Now so now so for elite a jasso a radia sorry dino ano apunyano. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. Na ne kra wira hoi na obo eradim paye na odiya esui. Na in her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. The anguish is a feeling of pain. It is not on the skin. It is in on the inside. And then she also wept bitterly. 
ni kra awire ho na eche chire no no eye emuni pa no na ni wira nkasa ho na osu su ya ya e de kansa awire ho yi now there was no one there she was actually weeping and praying to the almighty god ho no 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 nyankopon kwa ne wo ho na osu a obo ewurade mpae and she made a vow saying lord almighty if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant but give her a son then i will give him to the lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his head now she was say as of where say we show off now man you know now okay me now we read and free off now now we're my wife now about being here and yet me the nobel mail ready you can then you know now you won't be a ring can it see she is praying to God. Or what a word of Confessing her state. Or can't now come up, baby, a general, a dear children. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Now, Ugusuri bomb pie, no, a radi, and no, Eli, she na no dee. Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought. She was drunk. Na hana re kasa na kume muno na nunku ara ana obese bese na ne ne die wante enti eli bo no se osambufu. Let's move on. Yet waso. And said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. And na eli kachere no se da bang and na ube bronza akusi. You will send them everywhere. So now let's pay attention to verse fifteen and sixteen. Mommy, I'm saying you do no any do see any ye. Not so, my lord. Hannah replied, "I am a woman who is deeply troubled, deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord." Hannah, go on and say, "There be miura." Me oba wure huni na bobe sa eni ense biara di me numbi na me shie me kra me gu e wura di eni. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Me shie me kra me shie me kra gu e wura di eni. Now what does she mean by pouring out her soul to the Lord? Now oh shie me kra gu e wura di eni mono e di eno apa chere. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. In fact, what about what and to about who will be home if we say my real war and in my young jad do do mu and a makasa abyss is a pouring out my great anguish and grief. Real war and in my young jad do do mu and a me she had you. I'm pouring out the bitter feeling within you. Yeah, I yeah, my come a moon man and a me she see unforgiveness, resentment, and holding on to grudge keep you in bondage it will keep you in bondage you only be free when you pour it out before the lord i don't know me say yaudia ko wura wa kuma ma na say wo so me na se po bi mu ano e ma wo ya kwa ansa na wo benya ofa ho die na age wo hwie gu brothers and sisters you need to free yourself today i don't know like a bird from the foulness say wo nya ofa ho die ti say anoma we dano and we free for the sum for every day. And times of refreshing will come from above. Na emre papa, if you throw a be bawo so. You know the state of your heart. Unim wakuma ni jinabre. Pour out the bitterness before God. Shi yaudie no egu onyanko po enyewe. Just confess to Him. Pemu kachire no. Your feeling of bitterness. Yaudie no be biyaku du e wakume mu. And times of refreshing will come from above. Na hujuo ena e be ba e fisro ama. Now verse seventeen. Yet what you mu do so no. Eli answered. Na Eli buana say. Go in peace. Wa some juye ko. May the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of Him. Na Israel ni angopo ano be ma wadi a wasire no ne hono. Verse eighteen. Yimu do what you no. She said. May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way. Now she can eat and eat something. And now her face was no longer downcast. Because the reflection on her face was as a result of what was going on on the inside. Now I can say, my wife now, in your way, 
ena oba anu si mu koko di di na ne nimu so na ne nimu so entise kanye no biyo. Let me say this. I mean, can we? Don't forgive people because they are nice guys or they are worth forgiving. Men forgive people because you want favor from God. So who did you perform so chow? Any one want it? No, mum. So what person you want me any more do muntia? You see. If you want to marry your wife well, don't marry your wife because you love her so much. Marry her in love because you love the Lord. Many people do not forgive deserve our forgiveness but if you want god's favor pour out that bitter feeling don't look at the person's actions or inaction but remember that it is god who will either lift you up or Destroy. And so say, Says Father, I'm pouring out my spirit. Just do one thing for me. And so If you grant me a boy, say, She wouldn't say that. Give me a boy so that Penny now will also know that I'm not barren. No. She wouldn't go there at all. No. Give me a, a son so that Penny will also know that I'm not barren. No. Give me a son. And I'll give him back to you. That is a spirit that is released. Spirit that is released. Now, which verse are we? So verse 19. Early the next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord and then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah made love to his wife Anna and the Lord remembered her. I was sorry, I know, but you too, because sorry, I read the enemy. Now, I was saying, but I was saying, Ramah. Now, Elkanah, I was saying, I was saying, I was so in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, "Because I asked the Lord for him." Na afiri drono na Hannah nyinseng na owo oba berima na otu ni din Samuel na okanse ebradi ho ena mesre no. Not because I asked God to pay back penina. And yes, mesre ebradi se on tia penina ka. I asked God for him. And God has given me this board. The, the act of confession brings deliverance. Now, it, it brings deliverance to the soul. It releases the soul for that matter, the individual, and releases favor from above. Now, I pray that we will repent. Now, repent is to turn or to return. Try and turn away from all the resentment that is in your heart. Now, don't brood over them any longer. And great times of refreshing will come from above. My interest this evening is just one. Let us go before God. And let us pour our bitter feeling before Him. This is where to begin. Then, subsequently, I will tackle confessing to man. Because the human being is quite difficult. You need so many strategies in trying to deal with man. But as for God, just go before him. And let it be straight. Let him know the condition. Say, oh God. You know the state of my heart. This woman is pestering my life. You know all the insults. <laughs> you 
Tell God Can't your you real state of your heart. Because God knows. Tell him. Tell him. With the mind of receiving forgiveness from him and favor from the Lord. I pray that God will grant us grace and strength to be able to do justice.